hate these U-turns. Oh my God. Somebody help me not hide too far. What up, everybody? Welcome back to the Keep Living Mode of Vlog. I am the KL Rider. So, last video we spoke about U-turns and how to do basic U-turns. And I gave you guys a couple of tips on, you know, how to get that done. So, we all know as new riders, U-turns is probably one of the most difficult things that we can do. But we're going to fix that today. We're going to show you how to do a couple of different U-turns, probably two. I'm going to show you how to do one from a stop. And I'm going to show you another one how to do it from the stop when you're at the very front in traffic let's say you're at the traffic light and you're the very first car and then i'm going to show you if maybe you're like you know two cars you know back uh from a stop so um let's get into it all right check it out first things first so let's just say you're at the uh the front at a stoplight you're the very first vehicle at the stoplight this is your double lane right here. So you're in your lane, like this lane is say like it's going north. And you know, this one right here, this one is going, you know, going south. So your your goal is to do a U-turn to come from here. And you need to go around, you know, back, you know, in, in that direction. Here's here's what you don't want to do. Well, let me just just show you this one thing. So every car lane, for every car lane, so you see with a white. The white uh, line is at, like right where the two by four is at. And then when you look at the other white line, that pretty much measures the distance of how much, you know, a car can fit inside of um, those particular lines right there. So within every car lane, there's actually three bike lanes. From the back or front, we'll do this from, from the back. So from here, this is considered to be bike lane number one. So right now I'm in bike lane number one. Bike lane number two, will literally be like right next to it, like right here, like in, in, in the center, right in the center, right in the center right here, that'll be bike lane two. And this over here before the white line, that'll be bike lane number three. Now here's the problem with the U-turns that I see from a lot of new riders, and I had the same issue too as well. A lot of us, we're doing U-turns from bike lane uh, number one uh, right here, and it can be done. The problem is when you go to accelerate, the goal is to get past these two lines, not hit the lines, and then do your U-turn. The problem is that we're picking up speed, we're going fast, we're keeping the bike straight, we're going out more than what we need to, and then when we make the U-turn, we're so wide over here now that now we feel like we're going to hit the curve and go off the sidewalk or wherever you're going to, you know, crash into. So. So this is the trick that I want you to do. Move your bike up, have your tire just past the line right here. Get your tire just past the line. You got your clutch in. I want you to turn, turn your wheel, just like in the last video, okay? The very last video that I showed you. Your shoulder is turning with your wheel. You got that? So you back up. If you're at the front, you want to clear that median, those two lanes, come up just past it right here, or from the back, you can do it from right here. But to make it easy for you, just come up a little bit further. Turn, left foot is down, right foot is up. Got that? Keep your foot out. Your foot is your kickstand, okay? Now, when you're ready to go, put your head right where your wheel, where your tire is at. Slowly release the clutch. There you go. All right. Did you guys see that? Try that one more time. Keep your clutch in. Your foot is acting as your kickstand. All right, foot up on the peg. Rear brake if you have to, so you can feather the clutch. Rear brake it if you want. But I'm gonna slowly come up to the, to the other front, turn my wheel, turn my head, my shoulder. I was trying to make it a little bit extra tight at the last minute so I can get to the back, you know, the right spot. So listen, this stuff you're gonna have to practice. I'm gonna do it one more time. Get to the front. Put your wheel at the front, just past where the two double yellow lines are, all right? Your foot is your kickstand, your left foot, turn. Turn your wheel, right foot up, head turn, shoulder forward, boom. Let 
Does that make any sense? I hope it does. All right, now, so now let's say that's the front. The first car is right there. I'm the, uh, the second vehicle behind the first car. So I'm at a stop, but I'm in lane position one. So how are we going to do this? Here's the trick. The trick is I'm going to release the throttle. I'm going to release, not the throttle, I'm sorry. I'm going to release the clutch and I'm going to let the bike do everything on its own. I'm not going to give it no throttle. I'm not going to touch the throttle. If I happen to touch the throttle by accident, and sometimes we do, you touch the throttle by accident, just remember just to feather the clutch in, your clutch is going to act like, you know, your stabilizer, like a brake. And you can also use, you know, your rear brake too as well. And just start, you know, tap it, you know, slowly. But what I'm going to do, that car right there is going to go straight. I'm going to put my turn signal on. And while that car is going to go straight, straight ahead, I'm going to make sure that while I'm going, I'm going to turn uh, this way. And it's only going to be with the, with the bike's power. No throttle. All right. So the car is getting ready to move. Car is getting ready to move ahead. It's going. I'm releasing. Clutch, giving just a little bit of throttle to get the bike going. I'm in first gear. So once it starts going, let it go. Head, shoulder. Did you see that? Let's try that one more time. All right. So I'm in lane position one. And I'm gonna slowly release the clutch, give it a throttle. Bike is gonna go, head, shoulder. Naturally, I can't speed because there's nowhere else for me to go. So that's why I'm pulling in the clutch. But normally I wouldn't pull in the clutch. I would just keep the bikes going at the speed um that it's going five six miles per hour um until i reach around that curve and then i'll give it more throttle to get going head shoulder that was with no throttle all right so now we're going to do it from lane position number two lane position two is easy you're not that close um to the, to the lines right there so you don't have to worry about your back tire running into the line but do the same thing. Come up. You're the first car. Whatever the case is, you're the very first car. Your foot is your your foot is your kickstand. Foot up on the peg. Toes on the rear brake. Turn, turn your wheel. Now you see my head is back here. It's not where my wheel is at. We're gonna exaggerate it just a little bit. All right. You come forward. That shoulder is turning with the bar. When you're ready, when you're ready, when you're ready to go, slowly release the clutch. Now, when you're releasing the clutch, slowly, 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 slowly until the bike gets speed. As you slowly release the throttle, as you slowly release the clutch, give it just a little bit of throttle. Boom. You see that this is the part where you need to know your bike speed and first gear how many miles per hour you can do so that way you're not speeding you know a little bit too much so like i said i know this bike goes between like five six miles per hour um with giving it just a tad bit of a uh, tad bit of throttle but i'm not giving it pretty much no throttle at all so the bike is going to go on you know going to go on its own all right here we go releasing the releasing the clutch bike is going turn look at where I'm going same thing I'm all the way at the back I'm the second vehicle back behind the car the car is in front of me give it a little bit of throttle get my confidence up hey I'm not gonna drop the bike I'm not gonna drop the bike slowly release the clutch as you're giving it throttle both feet up I'm coming up and the car in front of me is stored so I got to go around and then come back that way so here's what we're going to do same thing is going to be I'm going to dip the wheel you're going to see my wheel go that way and then come back that way really really fast all right so here we go
Did you did you capture that? Did you see how my wheel went this way and then came back in the opposite direction? All right. And you do that with, you know, with the clutch. So basically, when you come this way, you turn right, left, get that shoulder in, head where you're going. And then you make your, you make your U-turn. And all you got to do is just watch your speed. We're going to do that again. So I'm going to go dip the wheel. I'm going to dip the wheel to the right and then come to the left to do the U-turn. And I'm going to use the clutch just, just, you know, just a tiny bit on the turn so I'm controlling my speed. So here we go. And I did that slow. So I've been doing this for a while, so I'm not really exaggerating the whole entire shoulder. I can already feel my shoulder and head, you know, following too. But if you need to exaggerate to get around that U, go ahead and do it. You know, just make sure that you do that. So, all right. So this time we're going to demonstrate with using your foot, your left foot as your guide until you actually do the U-turn. So if you're not comfortable, as soon as your bike starts moving, to pick both feet up to get up to the front and you're going to use this left foot as your guide to help you do the u-turn so once again turn your handlebar your shoulders here your head is looking where you're going put your foot up this foot acts as your guide as you're giving the throttle releasing the clutch you see how i'm on my foot and when, once i get to the other side now i can go straight that's why I was showing you how to duck walk. So when you do U-turns like that, you're not scared. Duck walk, clutch it, slightly have clutch. You duck walk it. Look how much power I'm giving it and the bike is not going nowhere. So as long as you feather that clutch, you're good. Keep and that's how you do U-turns from a stop. So hopefully this will help you. You should be good. Keep All right. Playing.